Welcome back guys to the Diecast Museum. Today we are going to be opening up three sealed cases of green light, all new to market and still available in your stores. We'll get into that in just a moment, but we're making an entrance here to the museum past some of the things you don't see every day. Huge box of nothing but matchbox cars and a huge box of majorette and just boxes and boxes of mint in the package premium hot wheels and around the room we've still got the tubs full of old hot wheels things yet to be filmed on top of them over here a whole array of auto world johnny lightning m2 and of course more green light on the walls nothing but hot wheels vintage hot wheels all the way around the room and over to the review table here we have the Massive 164 scale diorama junkyard, Sam Salvage Yard, ever filling up. Latest editions are a very interesting plethora of Tamika vintage cars. Right here on the front and center. And guarding the room, of course, we've got Nina in the house. How you doing, Nina? Say hi to everyone. Let's get on over to the show here where we are opening up Special Edition Hollywood Series Thelma and Louise 6-pack, Greenlight Muscle Series 26, and Black Bandit Series 28. Now let's go in for a closer look at those Greenlight models. We're just skimming by the extremely vintage Minty Hot Wheels Loose Collection on the wall, and just so much more stuff to open up, including a whole bunch of exclusive green light products as well as some vintage hot wheels and matchbox racing champions mint and so much more still yet to come matchbox mini review every year in sequential order look out for that video chain starting in the fall just haven't had the time this summer to get straight into that but here we are Oh, sorry, that was Black Bandit Series 26, not 28, and uh, Muscle Series 26. So I've already just gone ahead, pre-opened the boxes. I haven't even looked inside yet. We're just going to pull everything out live on the camera. Let's see what happens and if we find a green machine. I should mention that all of these are available at time of filming, which is nearly August 2022. And I have the Fall Guy, big old GMC. Is that a GMC? I think it's a GMC, yeah, GMC truck out uh, also on this uh, review mat because the next Greenlight uh, Hollywood Special Edition, as you can see, it's not the regular Hollywood series. This one is Thelma and Louise movie, 1991 based uh, sort of theme. The next one is going to be Fall Guy theme. So six vehicles from uh, Fall Guy, that's on pre-order right now. So I just want to mention that, that that's a new... As far as I can tell, a new six-pack series. We're going to start with that. Then we're going to go on over to, I would say, Greenlight Muscle and Black Bandit. So depending on if you've already seen some of the stuff, you want to skip ahead. First third of this video, I guess, is going to be, well, first opening all these boxes. But let's see what comes out. I Well, maybe I did reach in and grab the paper up, but I haven't looked at these cars yet. Thelma and Louise, 1984 Dodge Diplomat. Pretty cool. Now we're going to open everything up, of course. So there's no need to look at them too long in the package. That's a pretty interesting picture there of the uh, Ford Thunderbird flying off the uh, canyon with Thelma and Louise. That's the end of the movie. Spoiler alert in case you haven't seen it. Um, anyways, these cars may or may not have been featured in the film. There is the show car. The uh, movie star car, I guess, if you will. 66 Ford Thunderbird. And another cop car, an 82 Plymouth Grand Fury, looking pretty good. Highway Patrol on the trunk. And yet another cop car. So we're going to have lots of cop cars to uh, chase Thumb and Louise and recreate the events leading up to the climatic ending, if you will. This one's an 81 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. I really like the artwork. It's very nice. You have the same thing on the back of each one. Another cop car, 83 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. And when we get these out of their package, we'll go in for a closer look at all the different police departments that are featured here. Probably from the movie. 
And for rounding all out, another 84, or another Dodge Diplomat. This one's an 84, and it's a taxi, so that's nice to get. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where there, were, there was a taxi in the movie, but I haven't watched this movie in a while, so there you have it. Thelma and Louise cars to look at. And not one, not two, not, but three, basically, uh, same castings here almost. The Diplomat Plymouth Grand Fury cars, almost identical, um, but pretty cool. I have a huge collection of these four-door boxy cars, and I love getting more. And I think this is just a really cool collection. So that's the first set that we're looking at coming out of the box. Next up would we say uh, Muscle Series 26. Let's go straight in for that one. Okay, so this one I haven't even reached in to get the uh, protective paper slices out of the way. Which they package so that the car packaging doesn't get scratched, I assume. I have no idea what's in here. First one coming out is the 2017 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack Edition. And of course, these are going to be the same on the back. Just a listing of all the cars you're about to see. Ah, now this is a beauty. I love getting more of these. The 80 Chevrolet El Camino SS. Looking really good in two-tone Super Sport paint job with those uh, kind of copper rally rims on it. A newer casting from Greenlight I really like. And what have we got here? A 2021 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible. Well, that certainly is a muscle car. What a cool looking car. And I think that's also a pretty new casting. I'm not sure if this is a muscle car, but I guess we'll go with it. It's a 74 Ford Grand Torino Sport. So it's a sport model, I guess. That was muscly in 74. Of course, in the 70s during the oil embargo, uh, cars and all of the emissions stuff, they started to really lose a lot of horsepower. So uh, not quite as muscly as, say, a 60s car. Here we have the 71 AMC Javelin AMX. Looks to be in like a deep metallic blue. Very cool. I don't have a lot of these castings in my collection. And the 82 Ford Mustang GT. Now, I may have... Grabbed one of these and reviewed it in a previous video. If it looks familiar, that's why. I'm not 100% sure because this one has the T-top with the uh, sunroof. So I'm not sure if the other one I grabbed had that. I think it was just a metal roof. But I'm going to go ahead and just look around after we get through these boxes and make sure that that is either new or not new. So there you go. Green light muscle. Uh, pretty cool selection of vehicles. A nice mix for everyone if you're not into the whole collection certainly you should be able to find something that interests you in those six vehicles uh, black bandit series 26 now this is going to be uh, basically popular models from green light that they package with uh, all a black on black on black theme so that means body is black uh, wheels are black, interior is black usually, of course, unless you get a green machine. So that's pretty cool. We got the Jeep Gladiator, also a fairly new casting, all black. And this is cool, 82 Chevrolet K20 Scottsdale. This is the uh, fire pumper version, bush guard. So typically you would see this truck in like uh, for forest firefighting. For that sort of thing and this is a fairly new casting uh the 1944 m4 sherman tank these just came out in their own six vehicle military theme and uh, what was that called battleground or something anyways here here's another version of it all black pretty cool and this is probably going to be of interest to a lot of people that are dodge fans the 2021 ram 2500 crew cab I've seen a bit of an issue with the box. It looks like it's banana a bit. This sometimes happens with the model and usually is fairly easy to correct uh, once it's out of the package, mind you. Some may be worse than others, so you have to be careful with that one. There's the 2021 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray now in black. So we just saw that one in the muscle. What do you think, black or orange? Hmm... Last car out, also a very new model, 64 Chevrolet Impala Lowrider, looking very cool. Check out those, uh, what are those called, spinner spinner caps, they almost look like bow ties on the wheels. 
Very cool. Looking forward to getting all these out of the package for you, and we're going to be parking them on this awesome mat that Steve and Papa sent me all the way from Australia. And uh, so thanks again, Stephen, for that. That's going to be one of our new themes to replace the little mini GT mat that we had before. So many more parking spaces. We've got 18 green light vehicles coming out of their packaging. I'm going to snap my fingers, and then you're going to see all these cars loose in a minute or a second. All 18 vehicles removed from their packaging. We are going to start with the Hollywood Series Special Edition Thelma and Louise six vehicle set, parking them on this display mat. Then on to the Greenlight Muscle Series 26. Everything, of course, already loose, just still in their final little blister pack so that we can see the names of each vehicle right to the very end. I wouldn't remember them all if I didn't. And then we've got Black Bandit Series 26. And hopefully that tank doesn't take up too much room. Uh, although there are 48 parking spots on this mat. And just before we get into it, this little Mustang actually has been reviewed before. But it is from Hobby Shop Series 12. It's a 1979 Ford Mustang. So it's not exactly the same. It just happened to be silver, which got me a little confused. Same wheels, we'll put them side by side anyways. But first, let's take a look at that 66 Ford Thunderbird. And out it comes from the package. I actually don't have any of this casting in my collection yet, so I'm quite happy to get one. And it's a good roller. You know, we're always gonna do the roll test with every vehicle from Greenlight. I believe this one also has an opening hood. Super detailed engine, as you can see. Really nicely done grill work and uh, crisp closing hood lines it's got that simulated convertible top soft top made of plastic uh, white walls and i'm trying to figure out is that some lettering or what are those little marks on the tire uh, we've got a few white walls that are a little a little wonky i don't know if that's a little wonky but it's a lot wonky so what i do when i get one of those if i don't have another white wall ready to go is at least I'll just flip them around and give it some black walls. At least that way it doesn't look so terrible. Um, but it's good to have a few donor cars on hand with good white walls. If you find them in the store, you might consider just picking them up if they're cheap. You know, if you can find them at Walmart and get yourself a little selection of extra white walls. Another idea, green light, if you guys are listening, would be to actually just sell white wall replacement kits. Or maybe just give them away with... <laughs> You know, purchase of every 10 cars. Here's a six pack of white wall tires to fix all the other crappy ones that have been put out. I don't know. Just saying. It's an idea. Um, it's not a new not a new problem that we're seeing here. So great models from Greenlight. Otherwise, though, you know, I'm quite happy with green light and collecting green light. As you can see, I do collect a lot of green light. So here we have the 81 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. Uh, this one is the Sheriff. And we did say we we're going to look at those uh, counties where these cars came from. N uh, Nav Navajo County, I think that says. Arizona. And uh, nice looking Caprice. We've got a little bit of a smudge on that one tail light, but it's not the end of the world. The paint is in uh, nice shiny condition, as are the windows. No opening parts on this model, but that's okay. That's the first uh, police car that we're going to have coming out of the package that would be giving pursuit to that 66 Ford Thunderbird. And now another one, the 83 Ford LTD Crown Victoria with push bar. And again, we've got some nice, uh, nice clear windows on this. Really great details. And what is on the door? Arizona Highway Patrol. No specific county, just Arizona Highway Patrol. So that would be a state police car. And I like it's understated, just all white. If that car didn't have a big, huge light bar and a push bar, you wouldn't even know that you had a police car coming up behind you. Now, we'll get to that Diplomat Taxi right after we look at the other two police cars in this collection. So we have the 82 Plymouth Grand Fury, which is, of course, nearly the identical car as the Dodge Diplomat. Just uh, this was a Chrysler Dodge kind of branding thing to sell cars to people in both kind of markets of who they were loyal to. So here we have another uh, Arizona State 
highway patrol car. So that's really cool. We've got two different models from the same sort of precinct and uh, or department, I should say. So I like that a lot. It gives some good realism. If you really want to make a true uh, Thelma and Louise kind of diorama, you would buy a couple more of each of these cars to make that the kind of majority police car on scene, if you will. Okay, so on to an 84 Dodge Diplomat. And this one actually has similar markings as that first Chevy Caprice, but I don't think it's going to be the same. It's a state police car. And on the door, New Mexico State Police. So, of course, Thelma and Louise did cross several state uh, boundaries in their... Uh, in their run or flee across the United States, if you will. Again, I haven't watched the movie in a while, but I mean, that's kind of the gist of it. Outrunning their problems, so to speak. And now the 84 Dodge Diplomat Taxi, which may have been featured at some point in the movie. I just can't remember exactly where. I always love collecting green light taxis, though. Got the fare on the door. Pre-inflation, of course. $1.50. Initial charge, 25%. $0.25 cents per, what, one-fifth of a mile. So, I don't know. Seems like a good deal. There you have it. The Thelma and Louise six-vehicle Hollywood Special Edition series set. And uh, I really do like this set. I think it's absolutely great. So, we'll get all those cars parked. And on to the Hollywood Muscle Series 26. Let's go ahead and start with the absolute newest muscle car in this series, the 2021 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible. And we're just going to go in for a little bit of zoomage. See all those details. Now we do have a bit of a foggy windshield, sometimes a little microfiber buffing of the various parts. And certainly with the convertible, you might be able to get a Q-tip in there to get the inside. Will help. Uh, for the Black cars in this collection, I've already gone ahead and pre-pulled them from their packaging. Shone them up as best I could because black cars often show fingerprints and oil the worst. And the cars are a little bit oily upon opening, and that is to protect the paint, I think, so that they don't uh, get any abrasion during shipping inside those plastic blister packs. But anyways, this is a really cool car. you got the identify identifying information on the base. Copyright information as well. And um, I'm not sure if they have a production number anymore. Not all green lights are having them. In the old days, or not, even in other series, they have a sticker on the bottom that can be easily removed, of course, that says that. Check out this little window detail here as well. So really nice job on that car. No opening parts that I can see. And we didn't do a roll test on all those uh, police cars, I just realized, but... They actually all look like they're doing pretty good, so nothing jumped out at me. The next newest muscle car is that 27 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack Edition. And uh, this one has an opening hood. It's a bit of a darker car, so we'll just give it a quick little massage here with the microfiber cloth. Get some of the grime off it, and uh, there you go. Nice opening hood showing a detailed engine. Really good looking wheels and tires. And this car, they've done a really nice job on it. Looks proper. It's a roller. Very nice rolling car. So let's line that one up with the Corvette. And on to an 82 Ford Mustang GT. And what a Appears to be silver, all silver. I think this car has an opening hood, but we'll know in a second. Uh, white wall tires. It's got the spoiler on the back. A little bit of oil on the window. A little bit of oil on the inside of the window. And uh, white wall tires, again, aren't ideal. So, as usual. I take off the tire and I put them back on again, just backwards. So maybe this car will get all black tires and the uh, Thelma and Louise car 
we'll get white wall tires assuming no those tires aren't going to fit different size tires or rims i mean so yeah you gotta keep that in mind as well there's different size rims for these cars um yeah we've got a nice opening hood on this little gt model and check it out good details in there and here it is next to the 79 version of that car 79 model year basically the same casting with uh, some differences as far as the front valence and rear spoiler and of course the roof this one will also feature an opening hood looks to be the same engine in there well let's put those mustangs side by side just for fun and on to the 1980 chevrolet el camino ss this is going to be my favorite in this bunch of cars. Well, it's going to be close tie with that 74 Ford Grand Torino Sport that's coming out. And I do like that AMX as well. I'm kind of partial to the 80s cars and 70s cars. Having grown up as a child when those cars were pretty common on the road and in movies. A lot of car chase movies, a lot of automotive destruction that kind of fueled me to want to collect cars although I never really destroyed my model cars what a nice looking model this is super sport no opening parts uh, but it just looks really good and it's a nice roller we got the uh, for some reason the tires with the lettering on them seem to always be really good I don't know why the lettering is easier to get done than the white walls or if it's just less noticeable maybe but rarely have i seen car with lettered tires that i need to like reverse so anyways we've got two more cars with lettered tires so let's see if i can eat my words or not 74 ford grand Torino sport another car i pretty much collect every single one of because i just love these big cars uh, greenland has a two-door and a four-door casting of this model the only thing odd is that the steering column seems to be a bit long and kind of really pushes the uh, driver up to the steering wheel now it could have been that that's to simulate grandma driving this car because grandma would need to reach the pedals and may have trouble so we do have a lettering kind of off kilter there bf goodrich so that was a white wall tire i guess maybe that would have been the same issue just so much less noticeable and these cars with the independent headlights sometimes you'll see this with taillights too uh under extreme magnification you have to realize like looking at this car in my hand I, well yeah i would notice but still this headlight you might want to pick that off and re-glue it or maybe it just needs to be adjusted i don't know it's a little off green light cars you got to almost think of as like model kits little miniature pre-built model kits that you actually have to go back and Kind of tune up a little bit if you want them to be ultra realistic for those that collect them and just keep them in their packaging you're hardly going to notice these things unless it's something glaringly obvious like the uh 2021 dodge ram banana back pickup truck box so here we have the 71 amc javelin amx and this one's featuring goodyear tires nice paint job on this car and it does feature an opening hood Nice detailed engine hiding under there. Great graphics and taillight details. Really nice paint job all the way around. And it's a roller. So we have a lot of rolling cars. I dare say that Greenlight's got their axles. At least the axle and wheel installation team is doing a pretty good job these days, it would seem. Uh, as all these cars are actually rollers at this point. So really interesting uh we're gonna back these cars up make room for the final set that we're reviewing in this video which is of course the black bandit series 26 let's go ahead and start with this uh 2021 chevrolet corvette stingray now again i've gone ahead and removed all of these ones already to give them a good pre-shining so we won't see the microfiber rag again uh, here we have this version of the car. Now the Focus seems to be wanting to look at other things, but same car as the one from the Hollywood series, or sorry, uh, Muscle series, not Hollywood. 
same details, same model exactly, and same wheels. Are they same wheels? No, different wheels, so that's good. We do have different wheels, which is fun. And it's a roller, a rolly roller. Um, this car is definitely going to be probably, I would say, my favorite in the bunch. Next to the 82 Chevrolet Scott Sales coming out. Here we have the 64 Chevy Impala Lowrider. So green light's probably going to make different axle heights for this car as they did for the, I think it was the Cadillacs already have different ride heights on certain Cadillac cars found in the Lowrider Series 1, which just came out about a month or two ago. Opening hood on this Model 2, which is really nice for a new model. They've gone ahead and given us that extra detail, which is great. And the hood opens and closes beautifully. Nice clear windows. Everything's lined up really good. Let's check out those wheels a little close up. Dual exhaust. And there's one of those stickers, production stickers, 7281. Actually, that's not a sticker. That is printed on the chassis just as they print the details. So that's new. Haven't seen that uh, black print with white lettering before. We'll just step, step out the zoom a smidge here and see if we can get that focus to come back a little better. 82 Chevrolet Scottsdale. So many... Little accessories on this truck. You gotta be careful taking it out. So wheels do get caught on the plastic every once in a while. Uh, and this truck has a box lineup issue as well. You can see at the bottom there. It's just the body lines don't line up properly. So the way to fix that, unfortunately, is drilling out at least the center rivet. Because there's two rivets holding the box to the chassis. And then you can push that down. So you just want to get a small enough drill bit that you don't cause any damage to the chassis itself you really just want to get that little tiny rivet head there's no one of those printed 1300 production numbers uh, plastic push bar bumper with fog lights and a winch great details on this truck very shiny black paint light bar and of course all that fire equipment on the back looks great and it's a roller Next up is the 2021 Jeep Gladiator. Now this one does feature some accessory parts. And that is the rear tonneau cover on the bed comes off. So that's a plastic little bit. And uh, it looks really good. Got a BB on the license plate for Black Bandit. It's got little wheels, little tires. I would have liked to see slightly larger tires on this vehicle as they look a little small. But uh, that's easy enough to change if you're already buying the tire pack kits or if you have a few donor trucks available. Does the roof come off? It does come off, but I think on this model it's going to be glued on as they were having problems with those roofs kind of just falling off. So the tonneau cover just kind of sits on there, but it's another nice rolling vehicle. And we'll just back that up next to the Big old Chevy truck. And now for the longest vehicle in the set. 2021 Ram 2500 Crew Cab. This is a new model for this year, I think. A new die-cast model. And uh, it's got the updated grille and headlights for this truck. Certainly Greenlight has been making the Dodge Ram trucks for a number of years now. So you can pretty much collect every um, release or every model of this truck going back at least probably 10 years. And uh, in the dually driver series, you can get these trucks with the duallys as well. Now this one has a plastic base, which is interesting. And it has the thinner tires, which are actually, they look a little skinny, but, um, you know, I don't know for sure. There's a lot of different tire options for these trucks so no moving parts it's pretty heavy it's not quite as heavy as you expect that having that plastic base and appears that an oversight is that the marker lights on the roof have not been painted they're all blacked out maybe this person that drives this particular truck has customized their marker lights to be 
uh, smoke screened, but I think that would be kind of silly. Why even have marker lights at all? So, either way, it's got great details. And, of course, it's a roller. So, let's go to the last one. The Focus is really struggling with all these black vehicles. Not a lot of contrast. This is the 1944 M4 Sherman tank. And you can see in ghost lettering, Black Bandit. Now, these things have limited rollability in my experience. And the tracks are a little fragile looking, I guess. They do actually function. As in that you can turn them if you really try. And all the bogey wheels do turn. But they're really stiff. So, it's, again... It makes for a great stack display, but on this mat, it's possible that you could, yep. Oh, I'm really pushing though. I feel like I'm going to break something. So I think we'll just leave it at that. It does have the uh, turning turret. If we zoom out a bit here, we'll stop hunting for focus. Uh, turning turret on this. Got the, the BB black banded on the front. And, uh, well, that's about all I have to say for this thing. There's really not that much more detail on it. Uh, I'm probably not going to go ahead and collect every tank that Greenlight makes unless they have, like, a new model. But if they just keep repainting this tank in different camouflage, I don't know. I don't know. They take up a lot of space, and they don't fit my Plano display walls. I don't really know where I'm going to put them. It's much like the uh, Greenlight Kings of Crunch monster trucks. Hard to find a home for them. They usually just end up in a big Tupperware tote somewhere. So one out of 18 vehicles doesn't roll, and it's the tank. I think that's pretty good for Greenlight, wouldn't you agree? Um, there's the overall collection that you've seen today. And uh, speaking of Kings of Crunch, I do have a sealed box of Kings of Crunch, most recent. So that's going to be getting filmed very shortly. Most likely here on the uh, Sam Salvage Yard somewhere. Going to make some room. And possibly line up some cars and do some simulated crushing. Maybe some real crushing. We'll see. It's going to be fun anyways. Lots of sound effects as usual. And different camera points. So stay tuned for that. Also got some fan mail just recently. Uh, randomly. I got a giant vintage matchbox car garage that I got to assemble and build as well. So very cool. Whoever sent that, thank you. Didn't see a name on the package. I don't have it actually down here in this room. But yeah, lots coming. Lots still coming. If you are after any of these vehicles or if you just enjoy watching them, thank you very much. And of course, as always, happy hunting. Happy hunting.